Jared Lofner was a right-wing Tea Party follower. What's your evidence? Strange. They didn't ask me for evidence when I posted on Media Matters. I am not Media Matters. I have a brain. So, I am asking you, what is your evidence? He tried to kill a Democrat. That is your proof. The last time a Democrat congressman was shot, it was Leo Ryan, who was killed by the People's Temple cult, who were left-wing communists. But Lofner hates the government. He is suspicious of it. So are left-wing extremists. The New Black Panthers, the Uhuru Movement, and the anarchists who always create violent riots hate the government too. Hatred of the government is a factor of right and left-wing extremism. Yes, but the Tea Party has been vocal. They have been spreading their evil across the nation. Jared Lofner did a seven-minute YouTube video in which he burned an American flag and told his viewers to go out and burn flags. Yes, Tea Party people despise American flags. The one thing you never see at a Tea Party gathering is an American flag. What? Are you serious? I'm an excellent driver. Jared Lofner was an atheist who hated religion. Yes, Tea Party people hate religion. All conservatives hate religion. The one thing you will never hear from a conservative is praise of God or Christianity. I'm speechless. And I just made a no-no in my pants. Look. Jared Lofner listed the Communist Manifesto as a favorite book. Yes, Tea Party people love communism. It's like their favorite thing. They always carry signs that praise communism. You're kidding, right? Okay, okay. Maybe Lofner was not a Tea Party guy after all. But Arizona is a mecca of hatred and bigotry. Lofner was simply embracing the environment around him. When Dan White murdered Harvey Milk, it was in San Francisco, the most gay-friendly city in America. Yes, Dan White was rebelling against the environment around him. Wait. Let me get this straight. If a person shoots a politician, it's because he is embracing the political atmosphere around him. And if a person shoots a politician, it's because he is rebelling against the political atmosphere around him. Yes. Do you have the basic mental ability to understand that those are two completely contradictory statements? Explain what contradictory means, and I will tell you. You are very, very stupid. I have saved my best argument for last. I know that Lofner is a Tea Partier because Keith Olbermann told me. Keith Olbermann also said that Florence Griffith Joyner was using steroids. That was exposed as a lie. That cannot be true. Olbermann is never wrong. I shall go find this Florence Joyner and kill her. She's already dead. Then my work here is done. Please go away.